Our fifth segment is also a segment on Pascal's principle. And actually, this is a really interesting example. The outfall of, of uh, Pascal's principle is that the pressure inside a container is caused not just by the volume of water, but simply by the height of the water column pushing down on the fluid inside a container. So let's say we have like a whiskey barrel here and uh, we punch a small little hole at the very top we put a very thin tube in here and someone on the third or fourth story of a building pours water into this tube and fills the tube all the way up to the top with water so now this whole tube is filled with water and then the then the question is what is the force on the walls of the side of this um, of this barrel and you'd actually be very surprised to the outcome of this Again, we know that the definition of pressure is equal to force divided by area. So therefore, the force is equal to pressure times the area. So the total surface area of the barrel would, uh, and if you kind of you know, simplify this a little bit, let's say that the barrel has a height of one meter. It has a circumference, an average circumference of one and a half meters. It still has a top and a bottom. So we can say that the total area, area total, is equal to the area of the side of the barrel plus twice the area of the top because again you have the area at the top you have the area at the bottom and then you have the of course the area of the total sides and of course the size is simply a rectangle where the height is h and the length is the circumference so this would be equal to h2 times the circumference that would be the um, what i would call the area of the side of the barrel and then of course the top of the barrel is simply the circle so that would be, and there's two of them, one at the top, one at the bottom. So two times the area of the circle, which is pi times the radius squared. Um, hmm, let's see here. What's the radius? If the circumference is uh, 2 pi r, then the radius, so 1.5 divided by 2 divided by pi, the radius is about 24 centimeters. So let's say that the radius is equal to 24 centimeters, which is 0.2 four uh, meters. All right, now we have everything we need to know to find the area, the surface area of this barrel. So that would be equal to uh, one times C, and C is 1.5. This is, of course, all in meters, plus two times pi times the radius squared, which is 0 0.24 quantity squared. All right, so uh, that would be uh, that number squared times two times pi and we add to that uh, plus 1.5. And so the total surface area, area total, is equal to 1.86 meters squared. And then we multiply that times the pressure of the fluid inside. Now the question is, what is the pressure of the fluid inside? And of course, if we take the average pressure, which is to the, the middle of the barrel, it is caused by the water above that point all the way through on the tube, all the way to the very top. So therefore, we know that the average pressure in the barrel, average pressure, is equal to um, rho g times y. And of course, y is the height of the water column. So it would be rho g times h1 plus half of h2. Since h1 is 20 meters and h2 is 1 meter, it would be 20 and a half meters high water column. So the pressure here would be rho, which is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meters multiply the times 9.8 meters per second square which is acceleration of the gravity and multiply the times 20 plus 1 meters or oh, actually a half because you only want to take half the height of the barrel all right so what's 1000 times 9.8 and times 20.5 and that would be a pressure of 200,900 newtons per square meter or pascals so now we combine those two we take the pressure that we found multiply times the area so the total force is equal to the pressure which is 20,000 or 200,900 newtons per square meter and multiply that times an area of 1.86 square meters so take that and multiply times 1.86 and we get a total force of 373,674 newtons, of course. Way too many significant figures, but rounded off is about 374,000 newtons. Hmm, how much is that? 
because we don't have that much of a concept of newtons, it's roughly about four and a half newtons per pound. So if we take that and divide that by four and a half, it gives us 83,000 pounds, 83,000 pounds of force. Can you imagine a small little pitcher of water filling up a tiny little tube that's connected to the barrel if no water can leak out so the pressure is kept uh, completely intact? We can actually create a force of 83,000 pounds inside the barrel pushing up against the walls. And guess what? If we were to do that, that barrel would simply burst open from the enormous force pushing down from the inside. And that's amazing. It turns out that these, this experiment was actually done, and I believe that the person who did that actually put up some wagers, and people said, there's no way you're ever going to burst this barrel like that. Impossible with a little bit of water like that. And sure enough, when he did the experiment, the barrel burst, and he got this money. So if you ever want to make a little extra money, you may want to try this. All right. Good luck with that.